it we all want to know what why we were sent to this universe or planet so those those very people probably who were your batchmates in IIM IIM or IITs they were also looking out what to do and what to make for themselves right probably a lot of times you are not aware of what we actually can be right how do we discover ourselves then the question has to be there and then the answers follow none of the answers is perfect or final hmm. but the answers readily follow the problem is not the paucity of answers the problem is the absence of the question itself hmm. Hmm? right here you are presenting it as uh, as a, as an indispensable existential uh, question what to do how to live what to make of life hmm? what about the future for most people this query does not exist because their questions have received ready made answers mm. they have their, their their curiosity has been killed by answers supplied from the crowd peers or the past or the system mm. so they just don't go through the the entire churning hmm? that uh, that productive turbulence Hmm? like the tilling of the soil that does not happen with them right so so if you ask them uh, what are you going to do next year they'll say oh we'll have a job and we'll be settled what do you mean by job you see i have taken up marketing so a marketing job hmm. okay uh, which company is in marketing 1 2 3 4 5 if not these five then 6 7 8 9 10, 10 full stop no where is the question of venturing into the unknown yeah where is the question of of coming upon something fresh where is the question of any exploration of life mm. when everything is predecided and set in advance right why do you need to why do you need to understand realize experiment you can at most just worry hmm. worry that you might not get what you have been commanded to get right commanded by the forces of conditioning that have acted upon you your your parents uh, your your the various influencers and 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 you know the rest of it so at most you can worry hmm. but you can never wonder <laughs> right and what does it take to you know get into this habit of wondering do you think that it's the teachers who push you in that direction or do you think mm-hmm. it's your parents or do you think it's the consumption that you do yourself all of it all of it all of it see uh, the environment does play a crucial role uh, we we are we are not just born we are made mm. hmm? so you do need a very enlightened educational system do we have it no not at all and that's the that's the gaping hole i'm trying to somewhat plug right so do you do you call yourself a mentor and education is first and i'm into education yes. else? yes that's it nothing else more than that people love sensation so uh, they bring in exotic stuff like mysticism and this and that i'm just a teacher i'm just an ordinary teacher trying to trying to tell something which i think is useful hmm. that's all nothing more and what is the most useful thing that i need for my self discovery before you proceed to anything that uses the word me or mine you have to come to the to the word i mm. the scriptures put it this way aham comes before mum mm. i comes before me or mine or whatever so what am i searching as comes much before what i am searching for hmm? who are you in the search will decide what is it that you get in the search hmm? 
So we, we are often looking out for stuff without questioning who is it who is looking out. What am I looking out as? What is the identity I have accorded myself? And we have a great freedom in that, you know. Identities are not compulsive. We have a choice. And that's the fundamental freedom of consciousness. To decide what it must be. And therefore, you know, because that's the fundamental uh, freedom. So the fundamental problem then is to not to exercise that freedom, that choice. Mm. And most of us just do not exercise that freedom. We just, in a very insipid way, in a very supine way, accept the, the identities that have been uh, put upon us by, by sheer chance. Mm. We take it. I'm a Hindu. Why? I was born in a Hindu family. I'm an engineer. Why? Because I happened to somehow land into an IIT campus. Yeah. No. Why should it uh, be so compulsive? You know? Uh, I must raise a family. Why? Because that's the norm. Hmm? Mm, I must have... Uh, uh, a, a salary that exceeds such figures. If you ask that fellow, you know, had this figure not been the norm, would he have still aspired for it? Right. And he'll be speechless. He will not know why exactly he aspires for that uh, figure. Uh, huh. but, but we want it because we have been told to want it. Hmm. I must have this and that. I must get married. I must... Uh, settle abroad, I must, uh, I must own properties abroad, I must, oh, 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 fine. Uh, who's making these decisions for you? Mm. Dear me, there is even not a need to make a decision because the decision has already been made by your masters. It says that you do not realize that you are subjugated. Right. <laughs> when you say masters, who are you referring to? You know, I do not, it's not of great importance who particularly the master is. What's of importance is that I am a slave. <laughs> when you are incarcerated in a jail, does it really matter who the jailer is? And the jailers come and go. Right. What matters is that you are incarcerated. Hmm. We are incarcerated, aren't we? The mind is the prison. As Sherlock Holmes would often go back to the mind prison to find mm. answers. Mm. Do we really have freedom of, of mind? I mean, it doesn't matter whether we are coming from an IM or a Howard or uh, whatever place, um, engineering, management, humanities, uh, how does it matter? Is there freedom of mind? Mm. And, if, and if the mind is not free, then are we really distinct from animals? If we are to operate in a conditioned way, how do we then uh, afford to call ourselves sapiens? Hmm. 